my name is uh, Chang Ha Kim. I'm working in uh, in Institute for Mediterranean Studies, uh, Busan University of Foreign Studies. My major is uh, uh, Occidental philo uh, Medieval Philology, especially. I'm very interested in the archival science, holography, and diplomatics. I studied in Siena. You know, Siena is very famous. Uh, in Siena. Siena is very famous for the pallium. A, uh, the pallium is the, um, the word uh, came from Latin language, pallium. Okay, uh, now I start uh, to speak about my topic. Uh, it's my pleasure to present my topic in this international conference AH list held in Busan. Today, I'm going to discuss the problem of historical interpretation because I think that this pro problem is related to the crisis of uh, modern civilization, especially the crisis of Western civilization. But today, my theme is not about the civilization crisis, but especially a uh, historical interpretation, and I would like to introduce a new proposal for it. We study history, but the result is merely a historical interpretation. History is a past that has gone by itself. It is inevitable that the subjectivity of researchers is involved in the history research. However, a self-centered historical interpretation can never be accepted because this is not reasonable at all. In understanding history, it is important to consider all the factors that constitute it in a, a, a balanced way. Eurocentrism and Orientalism have been representative examples of the unbalanced logic of a historical interpretation. Both theories are well known, therefore, a detailed description will be omitted. The theory of European, uh, Eurocentrism was established in the 19th centuries and gradually accepted biological superiority and genetic quality. Edward Said's Orientalism contradicts this European historical uh, perception, especially Western supremacy. This is only a criticism, but it does not offer a concrete alternative. They are on opposite sides of each other in their crimes. It is true that we are used to treat differences as meaning of discrimination. But the difference also has the meaning of cooperation. I think it is necessary to study how those two historical theories can affect each other. They seem to represent the antagonism formed between Christianity Europe and Muslims. Also, apparently, it reminded us of an antagonistic composition of Umenyang. However, I think Umenyang's more important meaning is complementary rather than competitive. Now, I, I like to present a new hypothesis for the historical interpretation, which is based on the complementarity of Umenia, is can be called the relation balance theory. I know that I have just uh, uh, 15 or 20 minutes, and I have already used about uh, five minutes, so I will explain my topic very briefly. I do not dispute all the crimes of uh, Eurocentrism and Orientalism, 
in this sense, relation balance theory is not anti-Europeanism, anti-Orientalism, but it is non-Orientalism, non-Occidentalism, non-Europeanism. I understand history as the whole of the relationships and I think that those relationships pursued a state of ultimate balance through intervention of mediation factor. Oops. Some key concepts corresponding to this proposition are as follows. The first, the differences between the relationships factors should not be treated as discriminatory and selective but should be considered in terms of diversity. Second, the relationship factors for history have a competitive composition and complementarity at the same time. Third, the intervention of a mediation factor is inevitable in history. Fourth, history have a cyclical structure. Fifth, History is a process of imbalance that aims for ultimate balance. History seeks to balance macroscopically. But in this process, there are uh, numerous changes that seem to be imbalanced. Relation balance theory, to understand this, this proposition, which can be called the relation balance theory. It is necessary to explain what is Yin Yang and five elements theory. The principle of complementarity of a relation balance theory will be evident in Yin Yang and five elements theory. In this figure, externally, wood grows fire. Fire makes, sorry. Thank you. Uh, in this figure, externally wood grows fire. Fire makes us solid. The earth enveloped metal. Metal can benefit water, and water causes water to grow. But at the same time, internally, Wood breaks us, us blocks the flow of water, water turns up fire, the fire melts metal, metal cut off wood. In this figure, two opposing rules coexist. One is the rule of a, compet a competition framework, and the other is the rule of a cooperation that seeks changes through intervention of mediation factor. The two opposing flows, flows pursue the state of balance while affecting each other. I think this principle of history is not different from this. In Mediterranean history, the process of pursuing balance through competition and cooperation can be explained as follows. When wood suppresses earth, which is competition with wood, earth try to escape wood's threat by helping metal. And wood support fire to check metal which was pressing it. With the same principle, metal helps water to control the fire which is pressing it, and fire helps us to control water. In terms of historical philosophy, relation balance theory is based on the logic that history circulates 
This fact is evident in the gradual rotation of the X of uh, competition. Uh, this the gradual rotation of X of competition is like this. The first structure of a competition, okay. and the second time change the direction. And another one, change, change, change. This is from one cycle. Because this, this uh, interpretation of history have the cyclical structure. relation balance theory, the Mediterranean history can be interpreted as follows. The political tension in the Western Mediterranean caused by the rivalry between Rome and Etruscan served as the moment when Rome won the Punic War against the Qatar, emerged as a new military power of the Mediterranean under the Republican system. According to Western scholars, the Roman kingdom has escaped the rule of the Etruscan and became a republic, especially before Christ 509. But According to relation balance theory, Rome developed into a re republic after Punic War with Carthage, about 260-250. In the Western Mediterranean, the Persian Greek War broke out in the 5th century before Christ. I note that among the consequences of the war between the Greek cities and the Persian Empire, the Mediterranean cultural boundary have extended to India and, uh, and the Iberian Peninsula. The Alexander Empire was not a direct result of the Persian War. However, according to the relation balance theory, the, the Hellenistic Empire mediated the Persian Greek competitive composition and contribute to the development of Roman Republic as the first European Empire. <coughs> After the end of the war, with a victory at Actium, Rome develops into an empire. However, the Roman Empire has been destroyed by the Germans who have been constantly thrown, uh, threatening the Empire since about the second century AD. European scholars define the year 476 as the beginning of the mid, uh, Middle Ages and the collapse of antiquity. But this is only an European view. Germanic influence is geographically limited to Europe and the Mediterranean. Arab Muslims entry into the Mediterranean, on the other hand, expanded the cultural boundaries of the Mediterranean from the Atlantic to Central Asia and the Indian Ocean. Thus, the the arrival of the new era in the history of Mediterranean can be seen in the first half of the 7th century. Arab Muslims not only mediate the emergence of Germanic empires in Europe, but also contribute to the formation of a, a rivalry between Islamic civilization and Rome 
Germanic civilization in the Mediterranean. The Frank Empire contributed to the establishment of feudalism in Europe. The European feudal society, under the perhaps of theocratic, theocratic politics, started a crusade against the siege troop group in the 11th centuries. The crusade was religious and conquering war, but at the same time, Christian Europe and Muslim civilization strengthened the, the exchange of human commodities and knowledge. In other words, work was just one aspect of the exchange. The crusade also played an important role in the emergence of a powerful state in Europe. At, the same, at this time, the spectrum of Islamic civilization extended from the Arabic Peninsula to North Africa and the Iberian Peninsula, and also to Syria, Persia, and far beyond the board of India. Okay, now I finished my explain and I go to directly to my conclusion. <coughs> History is composed of numerous factors that all together constitute it and history is the whole of the relationship that those factors form. The history and its interpretation are definitely different. If we consider them to be the same, it is a distortion of history. And in interpreting history, exclusivism should be avoided. It is true that the competing enemies provide also elements they need for their <coughs> development. In the relations, uh, relation balance theory, competition provides historical mobility and the competition, uh, cooperation is essential to new change. Today, the crisis of European civilization is the result of interpret Islam only as the object of antagonism. Islam is a European counterpart. Now, Europe has been competing with Islam, but has long maintained a com complementary relationship and has thus mediated the mediation history. Thanks for your listening.